So we're given a function, x squared plus 3, and then it's cutting the domain. It's saying where x is greater than or equal to 0, find the inverse. What's the domain of the inverse? So x squared plus 3, I just want you to look at it. So I'm going to go to Desmos and graph x squared plus 3. So here's our graph. I want to write on it, so I have to take a screenshot and move it over. I'm going to move me over. Oh, it's big. So it's saying, here's our graph. We're only looking when x is greater than or equal to 0. So that means all values greater than 0, like 1, 2, 3, all of those values on the x-axis. This is the only part of the graph we're looking at. We're ignoring this piece. Oops. We only want this half. So it's saying, what's the inverse? And then what's the domain of that? So we could find the domain right now just by finding the range of our original function. So our range starts at 3, it's included, and it goes up towards infinity. So that means that's the domain of our inverse. To find the inverse, we're just going to find it algebraically. So remember, we switch the f of x with y. And then we switch x and y. So x equals y squared plus 3. And now we're going to solve for y. So I'm going to minus 3 on both sides. x minus 3 equals y squared. And then square root both sides. So y equals the square root of x minus 3. And I'm going to graph it just so you can see that. So square root of x minus 3. And then this, we change the domain to just be greater than 0. And you could do greater than or equal to. That puts a point there. Okay, so here's just the graph we're looking at, and here is the inverse. Notice how it's a reflection over y equals x. That's how we know we're doing it right. And our range... Nope, it's asking for domain, right? Our domain starts at x equals 3, and it goes to infinity. Just like how we figured on our last one. On this. We already figured that out. But seeing the graph is a visual way to also find the range. So this was square root of x minus 3.